guys. I got my coffee. Good morning and good, good evening, morning. I guess, for you guys. <laughs> I see a couple of faces I know. Uh, let me see all these faces. How's everybody doing? Good. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, yes. yes, so Jess and um, Charisse, the uh, Galen and Grace here, the uh, are are they both the the certified forerunners in the Philippines? Let me see, Jess and and um, I think you know her as Stephanie. Um, yeah, I think you... Stephanie. I certified her. Stephanie oh, Grace. But... Stephanie. Ah, it's because it, the name is saying Grace. Ah, yeah, I'm the one that's certified stuff, and I remember that. Amen. Hi. God. How's everybody doing? I love the nations. It's only the nations to make me wake up this early. From like I woke up around thirty to like you know put a little blush and whatever. So only the nations. I'm telling you on a Saturday. I love you guys. Amen. Let me Thank actually you, I start something right here. How is everybody doing? Does, did anybody get a chance to watch the teaching Daniel did maybe three, four days ago? About It's kind of like a basic teaching, but he kind of redid it. It's like signs that you have a demon. Did anybody get a chance to watch that? I wanted to go right in. I'm going to teach just a little bit and then we're going to do prayer. I'm going to teach maybe for like 10 minutes, maybe. Nobody saw the, the teaching from Daniel on the YouTube? No? Well, I'm going to touch on the same thing that he, he spoke on that day. And give me a second. I just have to turn off one light. Can you guys hear me good? Because I have the little mic over here. So give yeah. me a second real quick. Just have way too many lights on. They're not necessary. So, so welcome. Let's just, does anybody want to do a welcome prayer? Or just, how about Patrick? Why don't you just bless us? In a welcome prayer. Okay. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, this session. We thank you for for uh, having Flavia here, Lord. Uh, you said in your word, Lord, we gathered in your name, you are there in the midst. So, Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. We thank you uh, for what you're doing right now. Uh, just open our hearts and minds and, and eyes to see more of you, Lord, and Give us more wisdom to to walk in the spirit. And we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. And I just ask the Lord to fill me up, give me wisdom words, words of knowledge, and things like that, so he can be glorified because we're going to pray for people and, and there's anything hiding it has to go bye-bye right in the name of jesus mm -hmm. so fill me up lord and make your, my words your words amen mm -hmm. so i want to uh i'm gonna touch real real fast so that i'm looking to the side is because i have another monitor and i'm opening something here so i wanted to um open a couple of pictures so i can and talk from the teaching. I also, if there is anything, anything you guys struggle with that I'm not, don't wait on the Holy Spirit. You know, if I'm not picking it up or or just getting, like, you know, I'll, I'll get where there's the knowledge. Um, but if there is anything you're struggling, we are here between brothers and sisters. There's nothing to be ashamed of because there's no guilt, shame, condemnation for us in Christ Jesus. So this is a time to take advantage. Of course, you guys have your 
leaders, you can always come to your leaders. Anything we keep in the darkness, the enemy will take advantage of. That's what the word says, confess your sins to each other. But it's no confess is it's not just the sins. You can confess like sin can be just doubt in your heart or fear. Right? So because anything that's not of faith is sin. So when these things come and try to take a hold of us, we can just rebuke it. We can speak life and put a scripture against it and things like that. But if it gets to a place where it's actually um, just constant and now the enemy is harassing you, you might have to go to your leader or a friend, whatever, a local pastor, if you have one. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Because it's a humbling thing when we have to come and open our hearts. Of course, we have to have wisdom to whom we're going to, to have a good leader, right? And uh, whatever the situation might be, the Lord will, just because your heart is to go humble yourself and say, I need help in this area. Right there, the Lord is already showing up just because a lot of people get the freedom just in the decision to go confess something. You know, I remember I was in Israel last year with the TSNL group. And right prior to Israel, I had been getting a few dreams. I want to say maybe once a month, once every, like maybe two times a month. What you know, I would recognize as a, a incubus succubus, which is a spiritual husband attack. And I'm not walking in sin. I haven't opened any doors. Like I'm not, you know, I am married. I've been saved since 2013. I haven't flirted with anybody. I haven't like nothing, you know, before salvation. I was doing like bad stuff. But after I got saved, radically got saved, I was like, shut the door and everything, repent, renounce, went through all my deliverances and whatever, you know, fought. It actually, in a dream, I had a chance to, um, the Lord showed me the breakthrough of actually killing um, my spiritual husband. So, and that probably happened, I got saved in 13. That probably happened in 18, 19, maybe. Okay, later on. I got a lot of deliverance at first. Some way, somehow, I started getting those dreams again. And around, I think it was 19, I actually had a dream where I killed it. So God was showing me the breakthrough against that, right? Well, right before Israel, which was last year, I, get, I started getting a couple of those dreams again. And it's like, Lord, why well, I'm getting these dreams. And sometimes I'll get a dream for somebody I will be meeting that I, I'll give a prophetic word, like the Lord will reveal the dream was for this person. And I'll pray right there. People may be get delivered or healing, whatever the situation is. But it was weird to me that it was kind of constant. To I mean, once a month, once every couple, every couple of weeks. And it was like two, three months about it. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. This is, and I'm fighting. I'm praying against it, right? I'm, I'm like, I, I, I'm not allowing covenants, the enemy to create covenants in me, right? Well, in Israel, we we're in a hotel there having breakfast or something like that. And I walked to the table where Daniel was and I was like, hey, I need, um, I need you to pray for me real quick. And he's like, what do you need? I said, so I told him, I've been just getting some weird dreams. And I think I'm getting like a, a, a incubus attack. I don't know where it's coming from. Like, this is crazy. And he's sitting and I'm standing. He's sitting on the table. He had already finished his food. He was just chit-chatting. And I'm standing right next to him. And I, I'm telling him, the minute I told him, the fire God hit me. Like, he didn't even pray for me. He didn't. But all of a sudden, I just felt Ooh, the fire of God. And I'm like, something's happening. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I think just because I came here to ask for prayer, the Lord is doing something. Because I feel like this crazy heat of the Lord. And the dreams stopped. And that was it. That was just the fact that I humbly went to ask for the prayer. 
and just say, you know what, I need somebody to step in with me and join forces and just get help me out. So of course we all have authority and we can keep our um, deliverance by the way we live and walk and you know fellowship and stay in the word and all these things. But sometimes we need um, an extra help. And again, I had no idea how that thing was trying to come back in, but it was trying. And I, I'm not gonna tolerate, and I'm not gonna allow shame or you know anything like that to keep things in the hiding because I know I didn't do anything specifically right to open that door. So the enemy doesn't play by the rules. Sometimes we can be playing good by the rules, but still the enemy doesn't. So uh, we can just be real and go to a leader. So I don't know why I said all that, because it's important, I guess, the Holy Spirit wants us to just stay in freedom. Amen. Um, I'm opening a couple of pictures here. So I wanted to say a couple of things more how to recognize what you're fighting, right? We're going to talk about it, but I want you guys to also recognize that. A demon, we cast out. That's the easiest part of everything we do because the enemy is already defeated. Amen? Can I get an amen? Amen? Satan's already defeated, so a demon, we cast out. So then when we get saved, which the word salvation means healed, delivered, and made whole, Right, not just salvation. Yeah, one day I'm going to heaven, but it's like heaven coming to earth, Christ in us. Right. So when we get saved, we get delivered from like the the world, the things of the world, the the demonic. That God gave us the authority for that. Like some people literally will be fully delivered right as salvation. It just depends on the the how much re redemption they giving, like they allowing the Lord to keep, to take. So it's like surrender. The more surrender your heart is, the more deliverance you're gonna get. So there's deliverance right of salvation. There's deliverance when you get like a one on one deliverance, or there's deliverance by the process of sanctification. So now that's part of your deliverance as well. That's why we must renew our minds. So in some cases, we don't surrender at first. We surrender little by little. As we learn, you're getting deliverance, you know, because when you know the truth, the truth sets you free. But we must also recognize the part that there is a dying to self that has to happen in the process. And that take that's a lifelong situation. That's never going to stop until the day you go home, okay? <laughs> and where there's strongholds. So strongholds we must tear down. That's why the sanctification process, we must renew our minds because that's going to keep revealing where we have issues and strongholds so we can tear it down. You don't cast out a stronghold. You don't cast out the flesh. The dying to self is the process of crucifying the flesh. And that you do it every day. The strongholds, you can resolve those as fast as you want or as slow as you want because that's a personal conviction of admitting this is an issue in my life. I have patterns of thoughts of rejection or orphan spirit or jealousy or lust or whatever. Where is this pattern coming from? Where's the foundation of this? Because I need to change that. I need to tear down that foundation to build a new foundation, which is in Christ. And that takes a, a, a introspective research of your soul. That's why Peter says to continue for the salvation of your soul, like to, uh, to work out your salvation with fear and trembling for the salvation of your soul, where you keep on working it out, keeping working it out. And that takes honestly between you and God. The, the more real you are with God in your secret place, the faster you're going to get a breakthrough. And again, these things take a lifetime. These are patterns that maybe you're only going to recognize as you go through your trials. Amen? So we have to also give ourselves grace because he's faithful to complete what he started. But you go in the leading of the Holy Spirit. The only thing that, that can really cancel this process is pride. 
not going to the father and actually surrendering these things, surrendering these feelings. I'm, I'm getting these thoughts and these feelings and I don't understand why, where's the root, Lord? Why do I fall back into these tricks of the enemy and I feel hurt in this situation, that situation, when I know the word of God says this and that about me. So that takes honesty between us and the Lord. Amen. So I wanted to touch on that because the biggest trick on all this whole thing is about faith by grace because we get saved by grace, right? Or self-righteousness, legalism, pride, which means idolatry of self. This is the whole fight, the whole time. One is led by the spirit. One is led by the flesh. And the word of God says, be led by the spirit. Always be led by the spirit. You are sons of God. If you are sons of God, you're led by the spirit. So that's why we see um, this constant conflict. And that happens all the It's going to happen until the day that I so understand the game. Because the enemy will poke at your flesh and your soul constantly. But if you understand the game, you surrender, you make your thoughts captive, you fight it, you make a decision that makes the feeling of your flesh go, even though, because you're honoring God and his word, honoring your leaders, giving, when God tells you to give something, you're like, oh, I just went through one of those, like uh, the Lord said, give this much. I'm like, oh, Lord. Oh my Lord. But he's he's testing your heart. And now he that's what all he cares. He looks at our hearts. Amen. So I wanted to touch on that because the strongholds always are protecting something. And in the end, it's like fear of something and idolatry, which is making things by our own hands. Like it's we're putting our own decisions beyond above God's decisions. So we're still making ourselves Lord instead of Jesus Christ being our Lord. So it's protecting something. And that protection is like self-protection or self-exhorting or whatever that, you know, you have to research. But when you recognize it and you can, you can lay it down, God honors it. God will help you. If you can't recognize it, it's, where you go to the secret places, like, show me, Lord, show me, Lord, show me. He will show you. He will show you. He wants to, he, he doesn't turn his face away. He wants you to seek him. Amen? So we must break all that in those fears because it's all rooted in lies. Really, it's that false foundation, right? All right, I found the pictures I wanted, so let me just make it bigger real quick. Everything good so far? Any questions? Anything so far? You guys can put in the chat if you have questions. Let me see. I have my Instagram also on. I know it's early for Florida time, but we're working with the Philippines. So uh, praise God. All right. Some, some signs of demonic oppression. Now, a lot of people keep saying, oh, Christians cannot have demons. Well, Christians can have demons because some people that say that, they don't understand that a, a person is made up of their spirit, the soul, and the flesh. So the spirit is fully saved and fully restored, fully redeemed at the time of salvation. Immediately, the Holy Spirit fills up what we call the inner one with God Almighty through the Holy Spirit, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. So no demonic assignments, powers, no whatever. I don't care what kind of demon it is. Even if it was Satan himself <laughs> could fill up the place where the Holy Spirit is, which it, it, but some, some of the scripture says in your bosom or it says in your belly or it says in, also in your heart. So, I believe the Holy Spirit occupies our heart, our inner man, okay? Um, but your soul is your will, emotions, right? Your thought systems, your patterns. In psychology, they talk about it. 
um, the patterns, how do you say it? There's a word in psychology where your your thought patterns have, you know, a way of happening and uh, you have to restructure your thought patterns. Well, that's what renewing the mind is, right? So in those places, that places of emotion, decision, that's where the enemy can occupy part of your soul, in your mind. And of course, in, in the body itself, in like in the joints, in the organ. Or, you know, like diabetes, it's in the pancreas. We know it's a infirmity, it's a disease that attacks the pancreas. Well, it's a demonic attack that's host, being hosted in the organ. But there is a stronghold, a lie that allows the enemy in and to stay in that place because there's a belief system that needs to be broken down so the truth can set them free. Amen. So there's levels of oppression, and um, sometimes the enemy is just attached, just like if you could see in the spirit, it's like a layer of something just attaching you, just like a dark cloud, you know, um, sometimes over the mind, sometimes over the whole body, or whatever. So it could be outside of the body or inside of the body. So we talk, we're going to talk about, it doesn't matter here where it is, if it's inside, outside, it doesn't even matter to discuss this type of levels of things, because what it matters is that in the name of Jesus, it has to go, amen? So I'm going to go real quick through these some of these symptoms to recognize how you might need deliverance, and then we're just going to pray, do a quick prayer, amen? Um, incapacity for normal living. That's in Mark 5 through 1 and 5. Mark 5, verse uh, 1 through 5. Now, now, I'm going to pull the verses, but I'm probably not going to have time to go through all of them. It's talking about Jesus possessing the uh, man that was possessed, restoring a man that was possessed by a demon. Amen. This is about the the region of the Gerasenes. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm just gonna tell you guys. It's about the guy that has the lesions. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, so you guys know which scripture it was, because it's too much to read right now. Extreme behavior, number two. That's also in Mark 5. Verse 4, it's talking about how that man was used and things like that. Well, doesn't mean we're doing all that, but extreme behavior is like you, you flip. You flip in a second. You flip with anger. You flip with the way you act. Uh, your emotions are flipping very easy. So extreme behavior. Um, personality changes. Personality changes is still in the Mark 5. Now it's verse 9 and 12. Multiple personalities, double personalities, super happy, super uh, stressed, super uh, depressed. These ups and downs, there's just the emotions are all over the place. So there's no peace. Like the kingdom of God is peace, joy, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. And thank you. Can we can we mute? I think it's turn it. Can we mute just so we don't have feedback, please? Um, so peace, joy, righteousness in the Holy Ghost. So we understand righteousness because that's what Jesus did, and this is who he is. We can't have self-righteousness, right? But peace and joy are part of the kingdom, and those are good emotions. But the minute you can't have peace and joy, that means something is not right. And something has found its way in some way, somehow. It's a foothold for the enemy. And it's a good way to judge the triggers. Like what's in my life, right? Like what's in my life? I don't know yet, but I know I have lost my joy and I have lost my peace. And that's a flag, right? Um, 
personality changes. Okay, I did that. Symptom, restlessness and insomnia. That's a sign of no rest, insomnia, big time. Could be by worry, stress, fears, anxieties. There's all rooted in, in demonic, sometimes the, the whispers, some anxieties, fear. So like we have to pay attention to that. A terrible inner anguish. Just a lot of torment, especially in your mind. Um, just voices, just racing thoughts, things like that. Self-inflicting. Hold on. I have to do, make it smaller. Bring an edge. Self-inflicting injuries and suicide. So the thoughts of suicide, thoughts of getting like self-harm, things like that. Those are signs. And I'm going real quick through these guys so we can pray. Unexplained illnesses with no obvious medical causes. Like in some cases, just too many things happening. And they can't pinpoint why we're constantly sick. Why the thing come back? Da, 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 da. So that's usually a sign of demonic attack. They test, test the blood, and no, no, no evidence of something specific. And that's usually um, demonic, uh, demonic attack. Addictive behaviors, any type of addictive behaviors, not just substances like sorcery substances like drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, but also addiction. It could be to work, to um, to a habit like TV, video games, things like that. It could be any type of addictive behavior. I have a normal sexual behavior, just extreme um, types, and that usually has a Jezebel spirit involved and some marine spirits involved, holotry or 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 masturbation, pornography, things like that, which also involves the bondage. Defeat, failure, and depression in a Christ life. Just constantly doomed, constantly down, constantly negative, you know, that, that thoughts of defeat when we know we're more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, amen? So like those negativity mindsets, these are the patterns that I was talking earlier that we must really break and renew our minds. Involvement in the occult and behavior of involvement in the occult. So if you know you have done it, let's repent, renounce, and get rid of it because right there is a foothold. If you know your family history has it, let's repent and renounce and break it in Jesus' name. Amen? God just, he hates witchcraft because it's everything that's not Jesus. It's everything that deviates our eyes from Jesus from needing something other than what Jesus already accomplished at the cross. So like sometimes our mouths can become witchcraft by the things we say, you know. But to him, it's an abomination. And if we do things like fortune tellers and sorcery or interpreting alms or like things like that, um, speech difficulties, like a deaf and mute issue, or uh, stuttering, things like that, that's usually an attack of the enemy. Of course, hearing issues as well. Amen? And... Things, I'm going to go through these a lot real quick, but I'm going to, um, after I'll send this to you, Patrick, and you can forward to your to your group, okay? Blaspheming thoughts, accusations, thoughts, especially towards God or the, the word of God. Um, feelings of bitterness and hatred towards others, accusation from, towards your leaders. Compulsive temptations, like temptations are going to come, but like if it gets to a place where it's like so crazy compulsive, that, that's the enemy, you know? Desires to tear other people down. Feelings of guilt, even if you're being honest with your confession. So condemnation, okay? That's actually an attack of the enemy. Um, well, some of these we already went through. Of course, seizures. We know in the scriptures, the seizures and things like that. Nightmares, that's a sign. 
of the enemy. Eating disorders, any type of obsession, hatred of authority. That's a type of um, a sign that you might be under a demonic attack. Um, let me see. Criminal activities, low self-image, constant confusion in the thinking, inability to believe, like even when you actually want to believe in the Lord, like mocking, mocking thoughts and blaspheming thoughts and even gossiping. Uh, let me see what else. Irrational fears, phobias, and panic attacks. Irrational anger and rage, irrational guilt, self-condemnations, desires to do what's right, but it can't. And let me see. And I think we are done. I think I'm missing one page. I think I'm missing one page. Give me a second. Let me get the Bible itself. Because I had taken a picture, but I think I'm missing the page. Everything good so far, guys? You all good? Yep. Everything good. Sorry, the thing is stopping over here. So, some of personality and attitude changes, aversion to why the scriptures. Dark continents, drug abuses, lying, exaggerating, stealing, irrational laughter or crying, irrational violence, under speaking of a language, uh, like an ancestral language, kind of. But, you know, that could be the Holy Spirit. So that more like a discernment thing in there. Vulgar language. That's actually a spirit of perversion and involves a spirit of lies as well. Um, a lot, you know, what we call ESP, like if you're from, um, clairvoyant, like you actually have a prophetic gift, but your prophetic gift could be tainted by the enemy. So if you just got saved and through your life you've been involved or your family has history of the occult and you never went through deliverance, most likely... That sixth sense, that clairvoyant feel, uh, words, and whatever is coming through, either like a Python spirit or a familiar spirit. Once you get delivered, then you have the Holy Spirit to tell you things, and you prophetic you. So the enemy tries to to pervert your gift, you know, by that type of attack. Uh, blackouts. If you black out, if you get dizzy. Things like that, too. Asthma attacks. That's actually a sign of a demonic attack, too. Some of temporary interference with your bodily functions. Buzzing in the ear. Inability to speak or hear. Severe headaches. Hypersensitivity in the hearing or touch. Chills and heat in the body. Numbnesses. Temporary pa paralysis. Now, chills, again, it can be kind of like sometimes you're getting the Holy Ghost to love on you. But if it's something that's like a constant, then you have to question. Amen? And there's more here, but I'll send the pictures. That I think that's enough for us to identify, you know, um, having some sort of attack and the enemy is trying to do something. So we can just recognize and rebuke it and come out of agreement if we have made agreements by actions, thoughts, deeds, or something we spoke. We renounce it, we repent, and then we command those unclean spirits to go to the pit. Amen. Thank you, uh, Patrick, for the scriptures. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. Awesome.
So let me close this and we're gonna get started. So how's everybody so far? Is anybody feeling like, oh man, I didn't realize I'm actually going through some of these and I could use some deliverance. You guys can put in the chat if you feel like something specific. Don't be shy, guys. Hello, hello. Let's participate because there's no way there is what 10, 12, 14 people here that nobody has nothing going on in their lives. <laughs> nobody hears Jesus. So let's be real here. We all um, want with Christ, but we all grow into the fullness of Christ. Um, can I go first? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Um, actually, um, I will. I don't know if it's an attack, but as you mentioned earlier, you, I think some of it hit me off. Like, um, this past few days, I've been um, um, getting hard to sleep. Um, I'm actually worrying of something. I I'm really entitled to worry about something, but it's heightened up. Like it's like I'm I'm feeling like I'm being I'm being setting up for a failure. It's like thoughts are like that, and sometimes I have thoughts that what if if I'll just be sick and die so that I won't think I won't have to think of what's ahead of me. The, the, I have thoughts, but I keep on rebuking those thoughts and keeping praying about those thoughts but yeah it's I think it's getting me more and more so I think I need more help it has, it has in, increased the, the, yeah. the accusation okay that's good praise God well these things are gonna go in Jesus name amen amen, amen. thank you for for your humble and and openness grace <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's good. See, you're already feeling the presence of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else? I see somebody mention, oh, my family has basically all of these things. Well, I don't know. Um, what is it? How do you say Kali? Does, does your family uh, believe in Jesus? Or, or only you right now? You can unmute yourself. This is a small group now. You guys can unmute to talk. I don't Sorry. hear you, so I don't see um, you. I've been okay, go ahead family. now. I've been with my family for almost 18 years. And we are... You know, the dad of my kids believe in the enemies, so he do a lot of witchcraft and rituals on us, and a lot of uh, narcissistic and uh, demonic. There's a lot of demons in him, and and I believe my kids got some demons because they always in the societal and they never be happy. They always have low self esteem and wanted to kill themselves all the time, sleeping with the knife ever since and there's no freedom for my family and so like a hopelessness yes. for the family and there's a ritual and uh, demonic things that and then but, but this is in the past or they are still not believing in christ i believe in jesus but there's a lot of strongholds and i surrender but there is Self righteousness. But when you say when you say your family, do you mean you and your husband, or you and your parents? Um. Uh, well, everybody. I don't know if you're married. I don't know if you're married. So that's why I'm asking. When you say my family, who do you? Uh, who are you? Uh, specific? My my father's kids and my children. Okay. Are you? you so you're not married. No, no, because um. Because I feel like I'm marrying a demon in him. 
because he's not letting himself free from the money he believes in any but are you in the relationship you live together yes yes we are but he's such he's cheating with another woman that it's also doing witchcrafts on us and he put they she put us in the homeless situation with my children and it's very heavy because my kids because of her my kids wanna to kill themselves all the time yeah i'm and sorry you're going through this but you know just the fact that you are living together is already a huge door for the enemy because that's not a in christ relationship it's not a covenant marriage i understand you have children but the problem is this and the, listen i'm not accusing okay i've done it i lived together many years before i got married with i was not in christ but what happens is the same thing that attracts you when you're not married to to fornicate it's called fornication sex outside of marriage the same thing the same spiritual which is usually the incubus succubus those are spiritual husband the perverse perverse the spirit that says ah it's fine it's okay do it you know it's love you know and the very same thing that does that when you're not married when you get married attacks to destroy the marriage but the fact that you actually living together not married is just a major door for that thing uh, to operate there's another woman that living with us too so it's so so, it's, so you're basically like a roommate i don't know but <laughs> He wants to choose us, but the girl don't want to let go, and her demons don't want to let go. He just she's causing us for misery. Mm -hmm. So right now your situation is just living together because you don't have where to go with the kids. Yes, because I don't when know. was that? When was the last time you were actually intimate together? Like um, one year um, ago, two years ago? I think. When my child was two years ago, two years, two years old, she's 14 now. How old is he now? 14. 14, so it's been Just a long. Just because I, I believe that Holy Spirit in me and I didn't want to. Well, we're going to, we're going to pray. We're going to repent that we, you know, we, 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 we did things out of fornication. We can break the curses over the children, uh, which is called the, the wedlock, the being born out of wedlock. In Jesus' name, we break the vagabond curse. But um, I'm mean, also going to pray that the Lord open the doors for you for jobs and things so you can actually support yourself and come out of this place where you are because it's it's a, the living situation is not good for you. And yeah, if because I feel, uh, Miss Flavia, that the father wants to wants his family but the other woman not letting him he, yeah he's he under, he's him. under it's yeah. it's it's a seducing spirit a jezebel perversion he's got all these decisions by his flesh but he still wants to see the family well he can visit he can visit the kids on the weekends and have daddy family time yeah, but at, at the moment we pray we for his salvation too, you know, in Jesus' name. Yeah, at Amen. the moment we don't have place to go to. If scenario will be living in the street, and the only I, I understand that's why we're gonna also ask the Lord to open a good door, whether it's a job, financial independence. There's always a way. There's always a way. We cannot have no hope. There's always a way. This is bondage. This is this is a form of bondage and dependency, and it's not a it's a it's called the ungodly soul tie, because you're depending on something that causes torment in your life, you know. So, and I, I by all means, I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to be like rude or anything. I just want you to see that the acceptance of it has grown to the place of a lot of torment because we need to fight. We need to pray. We need to go look for a job. We need to take action. Amen? Amen. We can't just sit down and allow years and years and years to go by and just be getting punched by the devil 
on and on and on and feel this this torment to the place of defeat where we might get to like I don't even want to live anymore this is just torment you know when when do we say enough is enough and I understand it might be difficult sometimes different countries also very difficult with job situations but the Lord can do it he can bless you beyond you can think and imagine it's a matter of prayer and action like literally applying for jobs and things like that actually you know making yourself available out there for these things amen um so i believe god the lord will open that door for you um there okay i'm reading something real quick Okay, that's good. Somebody's here who needs prayer and he had a partial stroke. Okay, who is the person? Does that person want prayer? Where's Grace? Can you put your camera on? I think uh, it's Kim. Kim is the person that needs to have yeah. a partial yeah. But I don't see in the camera. Oh, Kim, I see Kim. Okay, hello, Kim. How are you? So, uh, good. No, so okay. does it need yeah. translation? Yeah. Um and uh ano pangalan niya, Kim? Ano po? Uh, ano po ni Miss Oni? Ronald Ronnie ano po? Ronnie Quares. Ronaldo B. Quares po. Ronaldo. So um uh, uh Flavia the, the 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 guy's name is uh, Ronaldo. The one Ronaldo. with Okay. Did you did anybody ever have a chance to give him the gospel because they said he doesn't know the Lord? The message I received it says that he okay. he does not know the Lord Jesus. Well, I'm sure he heard of Jesus, but does he doesn't know the Lord Jesus in well, his heart? Amen. Um, Maris, uh you? Why don't you, in your language, why don't you uh, explain to him that I want to pray for him. The Lord Jesus will heal his kidneys. The Lord Jesus will reverse the issues of the stroke. Um, just to show his love to him. And the power of the name of Jesus Christ and what he's done on the cross. That this infection. For me, I mean, this is an attack. But this is a trauma and an issue of a, a, an attack. That's not his portion. Jesus received all that by the stripes to nail to the cross, the curse, so we can be free. So sp explain your language uh, a little bit to him. Just the, the, the life, the exchange life of Christ in us, if you want to do it. Because okay. I want to pray for him. Uh -huh. Uh, Ate Kim, nagaginig niya ba ako? Or nakakaintindi mo? Okay, hello po, uh, Kuya Ronaldo. Kumusta po? Maingay na po, Kuya Pat. Kumusta po? Hello, Kuya, kuya Pat. Um, ano po siya, Kuya Pat? Medyo ano po? Ang makasalita ng buo. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Yes, saying saying things. He's not talking. So, um, but uh, yeah, uh, uh Kuya Antonio, Papa he, can, he, he can hear you though, right? Yeah. Yes. Just uh, tell him I'm gonna pray for him. Okay. Uh, ipapag pray po kayo ni uh ni ni Flavia. Papagalingin po kayo ni Jesus. Okay po ba? Okay po. 
Yeah. So yeah, uh, he's accepting that prayer. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray for him first. So as we go through the whole deliverance, okay, he may receive a little more, and then we we'll just do the regular deliverance with the with the group. Um, okay. but you must explain to him what I, what we are doing because yeah, deliverance is meant to be for people who already have Jesus. Okay. Now he'll. Xavier, uh, you're breaking. Sorry. Hello. No, 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 Okay, uh, Mabalik si Flavio. One minute. Hey man, we are back. Yep. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Look at that. Let me just change my name because usually it comes with my husband's name on here. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, some Rowan. Yeah. Yeah, Rowan, I can send you, um, I have a huge list thing for the, the Freemason for renunciations of the curses they they invoke when they do initiations. I'll send it to you. I have pictures of the prayers. And um, and then once they do all the renunciations, just do a regular deliverance. I'll send it to you. I have it. I'll send it via WhatsApp. Thank you, Jesus. My husband was too, so 
God can do it. Amen. My husband was uh, up to level 32. If, which 33 is the highest level. So all these, in, and it's really weird because he says he really never did anything other than they would go to some meetings and talk, pray, have Bible reading. But they have like this mix of many things in there, meaning um, different people from different beliefs so different Bibles. So every time they would read from different Bibles, and it's all good. It's all love. It's all we can all. It's like one world order, basically, right? Mm -hmm. But he opens door. It's a major spirit of Christ, Luciferian spirit, because it's a Luciferian covenant. Um, perversion, anger, very, very common. But Jesus, amen? Jesus can do it. Mm -hmm. So I'll send you the prayers. Once you do those renunciations, set up a regular deliverance. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, uh, Ivy sent a message about her thyroid. And uh, he, uh, she wants prayer for her husband. Because uh, I think they're saying that they're in a fight for a long time already. Amen. Well, we're definitely going to hit all these familiar spirits like the spiritual husbands and wife type of thing, attacks of witchcraft and python. So that's all the common things that attack your marriage. I open doors for different oh. things. So let me just pray first for Mr. Kim, and then we'll go into the, the generic group prayer, which is going to cover all of these things. Amen. Let me open my, I have a file here that I want to look at. Thank you, Jesus. So Father, I just thank you for grace and mercy, Lord Jesus. I ask right now for the Holy Spirit to touch Mr. Kim where, right where he is, Father. You know everything he needs, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I ask for restoration of his mind, restoration of his brain, Everything that the enemy stole by bringing a stroke into his life, Father, I ask right now to be removed. I command it to be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Any lesions in the brain, there should be a stroke. I command it to get out in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to get out in the mighty name of Jesus. There should be a stroke and every trauma that came through stroke to get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse of anger and death. Every spirit of murder, anger, death out of the family, out of his life, out of his heart, out of this, the kidneys in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit of stress and fear, intense fear, intense stress, intense anger, murder, anger thoughts that are equal to murder in the heart. I curse your Simon and I command to lose from him in Jesus' name. I command to lose from him in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of infirmity to lose from him. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, Lord, break all the witchcraft, to break all the generational witchcraft, to break all the fears. In Jesus' name, I command it to go. I command every unclean spirit to go. I declare healing by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Healing by the stripes of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Healing, Lord. By your stripes, he is healed. Healing, Father, for him now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I curse death and dummy spirit. And I'm already kind of reading some of these things. Um, so I'm going to just going to start uh, to go through as you guys are writing. And I'm going to go through all of it. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we repent and renounce for any involvement with witchcraft and sorcery, rebellion and idolatry generational or by our own actions our own sins father we ask for mercy and forgiveness things that we have done knowingly or unknowingly lord we ask right now in jesus name for your mercy for your grace for the blood of jesus that washes us clean lord we declare that satan has no hold on us is not our god jesus christ is our lord and savior we declare lord that the flesh is not our god 
Our carnality will not be the God of our life. Jesus Christ is the Lord and the Savior of our life, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice you did on the cross. We thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for our salvation, for our healing, for our restoration, for our sanctification, Lord. So thank you, Lord. We break every agreement and covenant. We break every agreement and covenant with the spirit of perversion, whoredom, lust, familiar spirits, the spirit of pride, the spirit of deaf and dumb, the spirit of occult divination, Python, Father. We break all agreements with the spirit of death and unto Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break every agreement with every familiar spirit that came through the bloodline. We break the agreements. We break the altars in the mighty name of Jesus. With every spirit of bondage and infirmity and error, we break the agreements in Jesus' name. We break the agreements with the spirit of doubt and unbelief and stubbornness, Lord. In Jesus' name, we break the agreement with every lying spirit with every spirit of fear and jealousy and bitterness, Lord, we break the agreements in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every agreement with every seducing spirit, seducing voice, everything that whispers lies in Jesus' name. And heaviness, depression, suicide, slumber, dizziness, Lord, in Jesus' name. That whoredom spirit, including idolatry, everything that brings either incest or molestation or, or adultery, uh, if something happened like rape, anything that came through those soul ties, we break it in Jesus' name. All divination, the voices, the mo multiple voices, the accusations. Father, we break that agreement in Jesus' mighty name. With every spirit of her, uh, perversiveness and hardiness, Lord, we break the agreements in the mighty name of Jesus. With every type of infirmity, um, if we can mute, just make sure we mute now because we're just going to go through a lot of it, in, including Freemason, Lord. We renounce Freemason in the family and every type of satanic ritual covenant, ancestral with altars, with blood dedication. It doesn't matter because the Lamb of God was slain before the foundation of the world. So in the spiritual realm, Christ had been slain already in the heart of our Father when he thought of creating the world. He already had a solution for sin and rebellion. So thank you, Jesus, for being almighty and sovereign to Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we come against all these perversive spirits, lying spirits, divination spirits, division, divorce, fighting, control, mammon, controlling by money, controlling by the situation. We break those agreements and we cast out those unclean spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Infirmity over the thyroid. Infirmity over the kidneys in other areas of the mind. In Jesus' name, I curse those assignments. I command to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of mind control witchcraft. Mind control witchcraft. I break it in Jesus' name. I command to go. The mind control witchcraft. We command to break off in Jesus' name. All the negativity thinking in Jesus' name. Incubus, succubus, spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, we divorce you in Jesus' name. We divorce you in Jesus' name. We command you to get out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, go. Every spiritual husband breaking divorce, uh, causing divorce in uh, relationships, causing perversion, wrong man, wrong woman, attracted to the, the just like by, by the sexual things in, in the relationship. That seducing spirit, that little snake, we chop the head of every snake serpentine. We chop it off in Jesus' name. We command right now to bow to the name of Jesus and leave them in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for coming with your heel that crushes the head of the snake, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for crushing every snake in everyone's life right now in Jesus' name. All the bipolar schizophrenic voices, the familiar spirit voices, the divination voices, the many, many voices, I command you to break off of the people in Jesus' name, including accusations and bitterness and condemnation and lies, every spirit of religion, every voices that call the person not good enough, I command you to get out in Jesus' name. We are not in our efforts, we're never going to be good, but because Christ says we are to die for he came to die for us we are good by his standards we are called worth worthy not worthlessness 
So I command that spirit of worthlessness to go in Jesus' name. The lying spirit, the religious self-righteousness spirit to get out in Jesus' mighty name. Endometri endometrial cysts in, in the ovaries coming by deposits of incubus, succubus, and sexual spirits. Spiritual husbands, demonic babies, spiritual babies. I command you to get out, die by fire. Every demonic baby, die by fire. I command every cyst to pop and go, pop and go. Get out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be eliminated. And by, by the blood, it will just come out like a period. Um, I'm just letting you know what's going to happen, um, Maricel, because don't be scared, okay? It's going to just be eliminated. And then you're going to have your regular system come and, and, and have your regular periods. Because every deposit of a spiritual husband by... Um, Things in the ovaries is broken now. That curse is broken in Jesus' name. I command Incubus, Succubus, Lilith, and Delilah. Incubus, Succubus, Lilith, Delilah, every Dagon and Marine spirit to break off of your families, all of you guys' families, in Jesus' name. Every who do Santeria witchcraft or whatever name it's used in your country, Juju, enchantments, vexes, and hexes is broken by the power of the cross and the blood of Jesus. And I declare no powers and principalities, no dominions, no rulers have authority over you because only the Lord Almighty, we already seated in heavenly places. We already far above these things because he already defeated all of them. So we are already far above. So none of these things, even from past generations, have authority over you. You have authority over them to break, to break the assignments, to break the covenants, to cast out the demons they send your way. We cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus by the fire of Holy Spirit. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. All dizziness, deaf and dumb spirits, stupor slumber. Voice is saying, ah, oh, it's better if I died. It's better, it's better if I actually died. It's better if I was not alive. That's a stupor, slumber, whispering, divination spirit, and a deaf and dumb. I commanded to go in Jesus' mighty name. Get out in Jesus' name. Also, those spirits, Leviathan, causing headaches, witchcraft, causing headaches. Go in Jesus' name. Migraines. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus. The fear and anxiety we repent and renounce. Fear and anxiety, stress. Those are things that we have believed lies. We repent and renounce and we cast out fear and anxiety in Jesus' name. We're just focusing on the wrong thing instead of the truth. And I cast out the root of fear in Jesus' name. By the root in Jesus' name. Infirmity, coughing and cold and constant getting sick. Deaf and mute spirits go in Jesus' name. Infirmity go in Jesus' mighty name. All that witchcraft or reoccurring infirmity must break in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I'm reading the things here. Okay. The curse of Jezebel we have. Reversing the curse of Jezebel we have. Reversing the curse of allowing the women to lead the household when the men should be leading the household. Reversing the curse of fighting spirit, trying to bring suicide, trying to bring uh, um, the kids to get into suicide through control and intimidation and fears. I reverse it all in Jesus' name and I command that spirit of suicide and death to break off in Jesus' name. Suicide and death break off in the name of Jesus. The Python spirit, the Jezebel spirit break, go to the pit in Jesus' name. Every bail, every idolatry in the natural, in the spirit, die by fire. The spirit of idolatry must break in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Also for healing the kidneys of the people here who need prayer in their families. Um, I see, okay, Judy, the family member had a transplant. So thank you, Jesus, for full recovery as a brand new kidney in Jesus' name. Now, and we curse that spirit of dementia, that mind control spirit. Go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Repeated stroke. That curse is broken. That witchcraft spirit generational must go in Jesus' mighty name. 
in Jesus mighty name. Let me just open the file here and see anything else that we might need. Does anybody have issues with grinding the teeth in their sleep? I break that as well in Jesus' name with the deaf and dumb spirit. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus and all rebellion. We break every sign of rebellion, controlling and blaming, bitterness, self-bitterness. We break grudges and regrets uh, um, in Jesus' name, being critical of others and self, being even hating the people, like hating uh, if the person is a sin, like getting offended and, and hating the person. Like instead of giving the person grace and mercy and bringing them into the kingdom, just prideful religion. I break also that type of rebellion, dissensions and contentions. I break it in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. The whispers, I'm feeling like right here in the years, I'm feeling something which usually means the whispers and also can mean religious spirits, like any attachments and everybody just go like this over your ears we're removing the little snakes the little parasites the little blood suckers the little things that whispers and and say lies we cast it out and we chop it off we cast it out we chop it off over the mind to any octopus whispers we cast it out we cast it out we break it out of the ears out of the mind in jesus name in jesus name thank you father in jesus name Anything that came through sexual morality, those unclean spirits that came through sexual morality and familiar spirits that came also through soul ties and use of drugs. Anything that came from the use of drugs, whether it was um, cigarettes, which is really not a drug, but it is a drug, but or weed or anything of that sort. So I cast out every unclean spirit that comes from the use of bondage and drugs, alcohol, any type of substance. In Jesus' name, I cast it out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I see here bleeding, bleeding out of place, bleeding with no explanation. I command it to be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shakarababa. Low self-esteem insecure is that orphan spirit, the rejection spirit, the root of rejection and orphan spirit, that false foundation of a false identity. I command you to break off. I declare that the righteous is as bold as a lion, and I declare we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. So I declare right now healing by the stripes of Jesus Christ for every trauma for every area that has allowed rejection to stay, for things of, that are not of God, the false foundation even from childhood, maybe abandonment, maybe hurt, rejection by things parents might have said, or a, a teacher might have said, I break it off of you guys, all those lies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare healing now for the soul, healing in the areas of the soul that have for a long time, lived in these reoccurrences of these rejections and orphan spirit traumas causing trigger issues trigger of pride triggers of offense i break it off of you guys in jesus mighty name thank you lord for healing every family healing restoring the connections of parents children and children to parents and brothers and sisters lord thank you jesus in jesus mighty name thank you father god thank you lord we also renounce and break any intellectualism and humanism, meaning trusting too much in the flesh. So the word says cursed is the one that trusts in the flesh. We must trust in God. Amen. So we break the curse of humanism, of carnality, of bondage and self-righteousness. God didn't give us the spirit of fear of power, love, and a sound mind. So we have fear when we're trusting self too much instead of trusting God because perfect love casts out all fear. Amen. So we must trust in God. So we repent and renounce for trusting too much in self and the flesh and carnality in Jesus' name. And we break that curse and we cast out those unclean spirits in Jesus' mighty name. 
by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Right now, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, we ask for the Lord to just baptize us again in the Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize us again in the Holy Spirit and fire. The word of God says, for this reason, the Son of Man came to destroy the works of the devil. Well, we are growing to the fullness of Christ, which means our job is to go destroy the works of the devil. Our job is to look like Jesus. However it is that you do it, whether you're working, whether you're in an office, in a drive through in a McDonald's, I don't care where you are, it's to be like Jesus and look like Jesus so we can destroy the works of hell every day. We show love to people, we pray for people, we show the kingdom, we carry the kingdom in us, it's in our midst. Amen? So thank you, Lord, for breaking all the lies and breaking all the false identity in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, I see, is there anybody with something with the vision? Like my eyes keep flicking, and I already prayed spiritually what that could be, which sometimes is a spiritual husband, rejections, uh, familiar spirits. I already came against all these things, but my eyes still flicking a little bit. Is there any infirmity in the eyes, specifically someone? Um, I have uh my right. I, I I during the pandemic, I uh plugged it with a uh zip tie with a broken zip tie, so it was too sharp that my uh I on the right was pierced. But um, I have a t uh Rowena and uh Koya Patrick pray for me, but uh lately I just uh, felt like that it is uh becoming a little blurry. Not that much, but sometimes when I am tired, it feels like it's becoming blurry. Okay, well, put your hand. But I can right, still see. Put your hand over right there. I'm just going to declare healing for you. Father, we just come against every assignment of the enemy over the eyes, over the vision right now in Jesus' name, blurriness, uh, floaters in Jesus' name, anything that came through the spirit of COVID. That assignment of COVID, we break it, we reverse as if it was never there, committed to go and never come back. Get out in Jesus' name. And I curse deaf and dumb and blinding spirits right now. And that curse is broken at the cross. Jesus became a curse that we would be blessed. And when we give our life to Jesus, we have died to the things of this world and the flesh and sin. Sin has no more power over us. Um Anything that came entering through the eyes, even maybe watching TV or, or show or old things that we have done, has no power over us. It's nailed to the cross. It cannot be imputed into us, into our lives. It can't be accounted. We are already forgiven. So I break it in Jesus' name. And I declare healing, Lord. Healing for the eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing 100%. By your stripes, we are healed, Lord. We give you glory. By your stripes, we are healed. We give you glory, Jesus. I thank you for breaking all the lies. I thank you for breaking all the lies. I thank you for breaking the rebellion, Lord, out of the flesh in Jesus' name. The consciousness Amen. of sin, the consciousness of sin is already nailed to the cross. We have to remember we are righteous children of God. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That means on this earth, you are the little Jesus. You walk in like him, you speak like him, you think like him, and you do the things he did. He says you could do even more. So we're just going to believe and walk in it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. I think I hit all the points that people wrote in there. If I didn't, Jesus can do it. It's amen. Thank you, Lord. He's He's almighty. He uses us. He loves us. He blesses us. He is for us. He's not against us. He says we are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, that we have the mind of Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name. Um. Patrick and Rowena, you actually, you really got to follow up with Mr. Kim to get him saved. I don't know if you noticed, but he actually was yawning some stuff. So he was getting some deliverance. I saw a couple of times. So praise God. So you just got to give him the gospel, man. Like, you know, this is not his portion. God is healing him. 
is going to get a full restoration. But Jesus Christ is not just another God. You see, in, in countries like they have Hinduism and other religions, and um, I don't know what the main religion in the Philippines is, but it's usually pagans, right? Many gods and things like that, kind of like Bali also. And um, G sometimes they even believe in Jesus, but it's like another tool in the tool belt. And that's not how Jesus is. Jesus is very zealous and jealous for our soul. And he gave all his blood for us. So when we accept Jesus, we must renounce all other gods and actually get rid of even idols. A lot of times these people have idols and things like that. They have to understand that it's all or nothing. Uh, otherwise, they're going to go through struggles. You know, so we just we can't be afraid to telling them the truth is Jesus has a plan for the lives for our lives. That's beyond what we can think and imagine. And these plans are good for us. But he says, come to me. There, I'm not, the way, the truth, and the life, there is no other way to the Father but through Jesus, right? So they must understand that it's, it's I have to make a, a decision. It's life and death, choose life. Amen? It's set right in front of us, and we must make that decision. And listen, some uh, sometimes is of course the the Holy Spirit is drawing. I mean, there's there's something He's looking for. He's here, right? So He's He's willing. So that's already a drawing of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we, as sisters of reconciliation, the gospel, we must do that final. Do you want to make that decision today? You actually ask. God is touching your life today. He's calling you as into him, back to himself to be reconciled to the Father through Jesus Christ by what Jesus did on the cross. Your sins are forgiven. Do you want to make Jesus your Lord and Savior today? It's a matter of asking sometimes. Uh, once I started doing that, like I would tell people the love of God and all these things and pray for people's healing. And maybe not say much. But now I actually ask. Either I double check if they're already saved. or And if they're not, I'll tell them. And I'll, as I tell them, I say, do you want to do this today? Now is the time of salvation. Today. And that's when you, you, you make them just quick prayer. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. And be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that goes for the people in Instagram too. Today. Now is the time of salvation. I have my phone going on here as I'm praying for you guys. Instagram people are receiving as well. Amen. I have to take advantage, man. I woke up early. <laughs> I took two birds and one stone. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anything else that you guys feel you need? Did it, people? Do you guys felt a release? Do you guys feel good? Do you feel light? Do you feel pressure? Sometimes you might need a little more prayer. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Is there anybody else with things uh, in the ears? Like I keep feeling my ears as well. Could be ringing or a little deafness. Is there anything going on like that? Me. <laughs> Hello. What's going on, Maristel? Um... I I um <laughs> Kuya pa 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 pa. Meron kasi ako nitong mga nakaraan po ng naririnig na parang matinis. Okay. Opo, yeah. tapos pag may um pag may mag earphone po ako kahit hindi kahit hindi po malakas is parang yung tunog para siyang nababasag na di ko po malaman. Okay. Um so uh Flavia so Marisel is hearing uh like a, a ringing uh, uh a ringing so when when she uh, uses an earphone some it's like something is break like a breaking sound like the the sound okay. is breaking. Yeah. sensitive and it makes it like like a weird noise okay. Yeah. 
does she have any ringing right now? Or once we already prayed against the deaf and dumb spirit. So usually when they make it very quiet, they can tell if the ringing is still there or not. Can you tell her to test or we'll see if she needs more prayer? Okay. okay. So uh Flavia she's saying that um uh, it it's it's not constant, it's it's it comes and goes, but she doesn't hear it right now. Okay, so, that's good. Praise God. So we're gonna believe it's gone. In Jesus' name, it's not coming back. We're not accepting anything back. Amen. So, Father, mm. I just thank you for breaking the tinnitus, and I curse all witchcraft over her hearing. I curse the deaf and dumb spirit and curses, and I break it, and I declare it's prohibited from coming back in the mighty name of Jesus. And everything we spoke against today, it's prohibited from coming back into the people, the lives of the people and children of God in the mighty name of Jesus, even in future generations. And all these demonic assignments, all these unclean spirits, we bind them all together and we cast them to the pit. We just declare, be arrested in the pit of hell until the final day of judgment. No reinforcements, no reoccurrences allowed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, everybody, let's just get a really fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost. Get your hands up to receive. Everybody that wants a little fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost, amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are our Lord and Savior. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. We give you all the glory, Father, for everything you did. I thank you for setting your children free, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. We give you all the glory. We ask right now, Lord, for a fresh feeling. Fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost in your fire. Fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost in your fire, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Mr. Kim, Lord, for tugging his heart. Make a way. Make a way for the, him and his family to receive your salvation. Jesus Christ, the King, Lord, the God Almighty, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha Omega, that he would know the truth. Thank you, Lord, for him and his family. I thank you for what you're doing in this land, in the land of the Philippines, Lord. I thank you for opening doors for these people that no man can shut. I thank you, Lord, for shutting doors that no man can open. I thank you, Lord, that for a boldness and a fresh boldness baptism in all of them, a hunger for your word, Lord. I thank you for a hunger for souls, Lord, that they would just go to the streets and, and win souls every day, Lord, for the kingdom. Not by works, but by your love, Lord, by your love for breaking every lie. Thank you, Jesus, for breaking religion, Lord, in Jesus' name, for breaking the the, the chopping the heads of python spirits and leviathan spirits and all the things that don't belong in a life lord because you love us so much you came and you destroy all the things in the kingdom of darkness so we could walk in light and we are children of light we are city set on a hill that they will know who they are they will know their identity they will never have doubt and unbelief ever again about who they are as one in christ jesus that's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen. We sit in heavenly places far above powers and principalities in Christ Jesus, at the right hand of power, at the right hand of the Father, in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Any questions, any comments, anything, guys, that you need is still? Listen, if you are not active in your hub, you got to get back. Okay? If you just came to this meeting because there was a special invitation, that's great. Thank you. I honor you, and I, I appreciate the visit, but... 
the same Holy Spirit is in, in me is the same Holy Spirit in your leaders. And we're here to serve, not to be served. So if you're being disconnected, I really challenge you to get back. The only reason why people don't follow through in the things and we have uh, excellent tools with the supernatural life. Uh, the only reason why we don't follow through is because we are allowing the flesh to lead, which allows witchcraft. It's a type of control of witchcraft. It's, it's intimidation or fear or um, manipulation. The enemy seduces you out and isolates you. So just repent, renounce, and get back in because we have much to do. We have much to do for the kingdom and you have a calling and you are chosen and you're called for such a time as this. So reconnect, call your leaders, see how you can serve, help, help bring new people in. We need to really take um, occupy, right? The Lord says occupy. The Lord says put the hand to the plow and move forward. Do not look back as if you, if you shrivel, if you shrink back in your faith, you're not fit for the kingdom and you're not fit to be my disciples. We can't shrink back. But the only reason sometimes we shrink back is because we're allowing a Python spirit to, to wrap us and it starts to choke us and isolate for the kill. So we cannot allow that. Amen. In mm -hmm. fellowship. In fellowship and in community, there is unity and there is strength. If you're hearing accusations, you rebuke it because that's how the enemy starts planting the seeds to isolate you. Just like I said in the very beginning, be open, be transparent, confess what you got to confess, and just get back in and get unified and get trained. We have many, many things to get trained. If you're already certified, let's get some deliverances going because I'm sure there's many people that need deliverance. I have a lot of people from Africa calling for deliverance right now that I need help. So if you want help to, to be a part of the help, tell Patrick and Rowena, I'll put you in a in a group that I share. I have emails that I receive and I and delegate them. So if you're kind of bored and not getting called for deliverance, but you are in a map, you are certified, you want to help, I got plenty. I get five, six requests daily from the map. So let's get busy, all right? Let's get win some souls and glorify the Father with our fruit. Because mm -hmm. we know them by the fruit. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I bless you all. I bless you all. Okay. Hello, Thank you Ashley. so much, Martha. Who would like Thank to pray so us much. out? Who wants to pray us out? Um, I'll pray. I'll pray. I'll pray us out. Okay. Go okay. for it. Yeah. Uh, God, we thank you, Lord, for this um time that we are able to praise you and we receive healing from you, Lord. Thank you for Flavia, Lord, for sending her to encourage us, Father, to give us, a, to help us, to pray for us, and to just uh, lift our hearts and um, and um, and bring fire to our hearts to serve you more, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the encouragement, for the healing, and for opening our hearts and minds to receive what you have for us through this meeting, Lord. May, uh, may it encourage us more to serve you more and seek more. And we thank you for the TSN, TSNL ministry, Father God. May you pour out more visions into this ministry to, to the leaders, to Daniel and Heather Adams, to all the regionals, and through every hub, Lord. May your vision flow in each of us, Lord, and empower us through your Holy Spirit to walk in the Spirit and to walk in a calling that you have prepared for us. Father, we thank you for the army that you have set for the Philippine hub, Lord God. May you increase it mightily, Father, to serve you and glorify your name, Lord. We just thank you, Father, for, for every healing and miracles that you have for us, that, that the, the members that were able to come here, Father, to listen, to listen to your word and to receive your healing and power. May, may, it, may the seed planted in our hearts, Lord, grow uh, as every day, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for your peace and comfort right now. And we bless our families, Father God, and and. We thank you for, for all that you have for us, that 
that you have planned for us. And right now, Father God, uh, we pray blessing for each and every family right here, Father God. We thank you for Flavia and we thank you for for your presence with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, guys. I bless you all. I appreciate your invitation. I love you guys. Stay in touch. I know it's kind of hard with the schedule, but, you know, let's try to stay in touch and active. I appreciate and I bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Yes.